wonderfully engineered Raptor engines of SpaceX. Elon Musk plans on sending the Starship to Mars as soon as possible, so he's been burning the midnight oil to get everything ready for the big day. This is evident in how SpaceX has engineered these Raptor engines. These Raptor engines are going to have a big responsibility, as they're going to power the SpaceX Starship to Mars. They are literally mind-blowing. Are they going to live up to the great expectations people have? Are they actually going to revolutionize the way rocket engines have been used in the past? Hold on to your seats, get some snacks, sit back and prepare to be amazed. Because in this video, we're going to put the spotlight on how the SpaceX Raptor engines work. What makes them good? And why are they called the king of rocket engines? What is it that makes them stand out? Why is Elon Musk so hell-bent on successfully building these giants? We're going to answer all these questions. In return, we just request you watch the video till the end to have a thorough understanding. These Raptors have been designed to power the new reusable vehicle SpaceX is building, the Super Heavy Rocket and the Starship spacecraft. The giant machine has been designed to take up to 100 people into space. Back in 2019, SpaceX tested the first flight-ready version of the Raptor, and over a month ago, they flew a Raptor for the first time on a hop test of a prototype of Starship. There is no other rocket out there that can produce as much energy through liquid methane and liquid oxygen. The Starship is nothing without its Raptor engines. They produce the thrust to help the Starship escape the Earth's gravitational pull and propel it on its interplanetary journeys. The thrust they produce has to be enormous, as the Starship is meant to lift heavy payloads of up to 100 tons. First, they develop Falcon 9, also known as F9. Falcon 9 is powered by the Merlin engine, developed in-house by SpaceX. However, the Starship needed something more powerful, and SpaceX decided to build a new engine, naming it the Raptor. Each Raptor engine weighs about 1.5 tons and will supply 230 tons of thrust-to-weight ratio to the Starship. The engine itself is evolving, with Raptor 2 now deep into testing at SpaceX's McGregor test site. Raptor 1 already sported 185 tons of thrust. However, with Raptor 2, that increases to 230 tons. Raptor 2 is, as Musk said, greatly simplified while increasing thrust, half the cost at more thrust. The current peak thrust R2 operated at is 247 tons, so SpaceX is confident 250 will be achieved, which is obviously essential in making SS work. The visual changes between Raptor V1 and V2 are apparent, with less cabling and plumbing around the engine. The Raptor uses a full-flow staged combustion engine. This is only the third engine in history to have employed this technique. On the other hand, Merlin uses the more common cycle system. Such engines were tested for the first time back in the 1960s by the Soviet Union, and then again in the 2000s by the US. However, they unfortunately did not make it beyond testing. With this engine, the propellants burn in stages, and unlike the gas generator cycle, there are two burners, approximately called pre-burners. One is fuel-rich, and the other is oxidizer-rich. The fuel-rich pre-burner powers the fuel pump, while the oxidizer-rich pre-burner powers the oxidizer pump. In the schematic, you'll see the fuel-rich pre-burner taps off the oxidizer flow. So a lot of fuel passes through this pre-burner, but very little oxidizer, and vice versa for the oxidizer-rich pre-burner. This in return produces mostly unburned vaporized repellent, and this is exactly what they want. The hot gases spin their respective turbines and drive their respective pumps, where the pump speed is just fast enough to optimally pressurize the pre-burners. Then in return, best pressurize the combustion chamber. This all works out because the fuel and oxidizer arrive in the combustion chamber in the form of hot gas. As a result, you can reach hotter temperatures and improve combustion. Because of the two combustion stages, the propellants burn twice, first in the pre-burners and then in the combustion chamber. In the pre-burners, the propellant burns at a lower efficiency, just enough to produce the required amount of energy to spin the turbines at the ideal speed, because you don't want to turn the turbines into a soup from high temperatures. In the combustion chamber, the propellant burns at max efficiency, producing max thrust. And to top it off, no propellant goes to waste. So the engine maximizes the extraction of energy from all its propellant. This makes this engine ideal for high-power rocket applications. In short, a rocket built with SpaceX Raptor engines can more easily climb Earth's gravity well. The Raptor's major innovation over its predecessor is the use of methane, which takes us back to SpaceX's ultimate goal. 
You guys should know that SpaceX is not the only company that is using methane. Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos' company Blue Origin is developing a methane engine of their own, calling it the Blue Engine 4. This is a switch that actually has many benefits. In the past, rocket engines have relied on using fossil fuels like kerosene, which is now being replaced by methane. If you're wondering what's so amazing about using methane, well, it has a higher performance as compared to rocket fuels that have been used in the past. And that means a decrease in the size of the rocket, which could lead to bringing the cost of the launch down. It's also believed that methane could be available on the surface of Mars or somewhere else in space to be used as fuel. You can easily extract methane from the Martian surface by mining water and carbon dioxide. So the switch to methane makes the fuel sufficient for Starship in yet another amazing way. So, are you guys enjoying the video? Do you think the Raptor engines are going to work as SpaceX is planned? Don't hesitate to leave your opinion in the comment box, and while you think about it, do subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon in order to be notified of our upcoming amazing videos as well. Let's continue. The number of Raptor engines the SpaceX is planning on building is big. Each Starship vehicle is designed to fly with six Raptor engines. So from what we've told you, it is possible that these engines can be refueled while being in space. It's not yet confirmed, but it's a possibility, and that means your propellant does not have to come from Earth. With the gas generator cycle engine, there's a potential for leaks. The oxidizer can leak into the fuel pump from the seal on the shaft, because everything in the engine is almost connected in a big circular loop, where all components depend on each other. However, with the Raptor engine, the oxidizer-rich side only pumps oxidizer, while the fuel-rich side only pumps fuel. So the fuel pump isn't connected to the oxidizer, and if hot fuel leaks through the seal on the shaft entering the fuel pump, it's not going to be a problem. SpaceX Raptor engines without a doubt beat every other in every significant factor. Well, currently Elon Musk has actually said he's not satisfied with the progress made in developing the Raptor engines that power the Starship rocket. The Raptor production crisis has actually gotten even worse than it was a month or two back. Musk has said that they can face a bankruptcy if they cannot achieve a flight rate of at least one every two weeks next year. What Musk said in his email reflects those circumstances are currently severe and his employees need to get it together. The cost, reusability, and reliability all need a lot of work. In the meantime, we can appreciate how complex and fascinating these engines are. Not to forget, every new engine advancement further showcases human ingenuity. So we need to give a shout out to all the engineers who've worked on this amazing engine. They're downright brilliant. It goes without saying, it's an exciting time to be a space enthusiast. The SpaceX Raptor engine is expected to become a staple in rocket engineering, and if SpaceX actually gets to Mars, Raptor is going to have a huge part to play. We cannot wait for it to happen. Do you think this company is going to be able to deliver what they claim? Let us know in the comment box. And in order to watch more amazing videos like this, stay tuned.